What can we say about the love between Jesus and the Father? The Father's love is what anchors the work that Jesus does. He even said that the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his Father doing. Jesus honors the Father as the Father honors the Son and raises him back to life. There is nothing more intimate and more reassuring than the love between Jesus and the Father. Recently, I shared with a couple of friends about our experience of our earthly fathers. I shared that during my primary school time, my father was quite workaholic and therefore was rather absent. I also resented the time when once he hit me with a rod so badly in order to discipline me. I thought this was bad enough, but my other friends laughed because that was nothing compared to what they went through. One friend told us that being bashed was almost a daily bread of suffering for him. Strangely enough, he still thinks that this was necessary to make him tough so he can face how tough the world is. The other friend shared how he had buried the memory of his father's fierce attempt to make him quit smoking. Not only was he bashed, but his father was about to hang him with a rope until his mother came to rescue. He simply hated that moment. He said that, when I am strong enough, I will kill you, Dad. He was determined to have revenge. Fortunately, my friend and I thank God that our time in priestly formation allows us to process this psychological wound. And as a result, our hearts became softer. We were able to talk with our fathers about this painful incident and her word, the word of sorry from our fathers. As a result, we no longer have bursts of, our, of unproportionate anger towards others, or at least we know now where the rage came from. Our experience of growing up shapes what we think of God, what we think of the Father. Although in our minds we believe that the Father is good, subconsciously we may believe otherwise, depending on the wounds that we carry. No one has a perfect family, a perfect father, or a perfect mother. So somewhat, the image of the Heavenly Father is skewed. We need healing. We need God's love to show us how much we are loved. So we need Jesus to show us what the Father is like. Philip once, one of the disciples once said, Show us the Father, then we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Haven't you been with me, Philip? and you still do not know me. To have known me is to have seen the Father. Jesus proved his love for us by dying on the cross. That is the extent of the Father's love for us. The Son can do only what he sees his Father doing, because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. Friends, let this coming celebration of the Paschal Mystery reminds us of how much the Father loves us, let us return to the Father's love once again. Let us throw away anything that hinders us from trusting the Father. When we pray the Our Father, let it come not just from our lips, but let it be a resounding prayer that comes from our hearts.